get camera one rolling. We'll get camera two rolling. Hey, welcome. I'm going to tie a Clouser minnow with a new product. It's a synthetic bucktail. Uh, it, it's very cool stuff. It, it's not stinky, which is wonderful. It's very uniform. There are some tips and tricks to working with this material that I'm going to want to share. Uh, first of all, when you cut it, always cut it, no matter what the length you want to use, way down at the base. Otherwise, you're, uh, you're just going to have a mess uh, uh, of, of stuff you can't use. Now, these strands are all very uniform. And if you don't want them to be really uniform, uh, you just pull out a few. There you go. Now, we all know how to tie a, a clouser minnow. If I was using bucktail, I'd cut this off first. Sometimes I do with this material, but I'm going to try this time. I'm going to place it over my hook. and get three or four turns, five, six, seven. But the important part to note here is this is back from the eye of the hook. Initially when I worked with this, I, I wound right up to the eye of the hook. And then when I try to cut it, some of the, the, the butt sections would be out over um, the hook eye, which I didn't like. Now this stuff is tough and I'm using my regular fly tying scissors I'm just getting a little bit at a time some of the folks I've seen tying with it suggest using a serrated edge scissor I think they're correct they also suggest super glue and based on my experience so far super glue is a good move because unlike bucktail uh, so, so the good side is this is going to be really durable. Uh, on the the awkward side is that it's it's tough to tie in. You've got to be um, you've got to really lash it down. Uh, some folks suggest using they, they all suggest using super glue. So I'm following the herd there, and they um, they uh, some of these. Fly tires are suggesting using a round thread. Definitely not a mono thread, but a round thread. And I haven't tried that yet. Uh, the suggestion is that a round thread would, uh, would dig in a little bit. I'm not sure, but it might. So I'm going to make this a white and purple clouser. Purple is a real fishy color for clousers. It's, it's one that I commonly use uh, for bait fish off the Oregon coast. I also use it for, uh, for king salmon. So that's about, I want, it, I want this length a little bit longer than my, um, oh, do I put super glue on first or? No, oh, I'll wait. I'm going to slide that forward. Now I, I want to make sure that this material kind of straddles my hook point and it does. I also want to make sure it isn't bunched up right on the top of the hook like a pencil. And so it, it, it managed to just kind of spread itself around the top in an arc, which is good. Now I'm winding forward and pretty soon here my thread's probably going to slip off. Yep, there it went. So now I'll build it up in the front and bring it back up. Here's a good time for some super glue. Right there. Don't use too much, Jay. Now, a little bit of extra here. I'm going to wrap in a figure eight around the eyes. And you're pretty much not going to see this from the other side. At least that's my story. But it gives you a little bit of extra purchase on that material. And now I'll tie my whip finish. And I'm going to slip this off. 
I got my pen super glued to the desk. Let me get this ready for you. Okay, here you go. Here is a uh, Clauser minnow tied with a uh, new faux bucktail. Here's a, that's the way it's gonna ride in the water. Thank you for joining me. I hope you get a chance to try this new material just as I will in the next few weeks.